So in this demonstration, we're going to show you how to get to data that is uh, stored in a nested array inside the REST call. Um, so we're going to start by defining a service connection in our application. Um, this is to this URL, which gets us information about a specific country. So one of the things you want to do here is indicate what type of results you get. In this case, we get information about a single country. So we're going to set it to get one. And um, we can test the endpoint over here, uh, passing in, for example, code state of US. And what we you can see is we get an object at the top level. Inside it, some things are going to be arrays. For example, there's a property here called alternate spelling, which is an array of strings with other names for the same country. So now that we have this, let's save this as an example result and see how we can show this information in our page. So the basic thing you would want to do in the page over here, you have a field where we have the country code that we provide, and then we would want to show here the name of the country. Okay, so we'll call this one the name, and then we want to show the list of alternate names over here. Now, the initial thing to do is on the first field, we have an event, and on the uh, change of the value here, what we want to do is we want to call the REST service. Okay, so we'll map our REST service over here, and we're going to pass to it the country code from the field. All right, next we want to take the results and assign them to a variable in our page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly define a new type based on our array, sorry, based on our result set here that gets me all the data. I'm going to call this my country type. Okay. Um, and then I can have a variable that is of this type. So we'll call it my country and it's of this type that we just defined now. So now if we go back to our page, we can map this field, for example, to get the data for my country and the name of the country, like that. So now the next thing is in our action chain, after we call the REST service, we want to assign the variable from what is returned here to my country, like that. Okay. So now let's run our little application. Type in NZ about and we get the name showing up. Now what we're missing is the table data. So for a table, what you need is you need an a SDP or ADP. We're going to define a new variable okay, of type ADP and call it a alt ADP because it has the alternative names. All right. Now, the ADP needs to have a type. So what we need to do next is create a type of what we have here. And um, so I'm gonna create a new type, a custom one. We'll call it alt name, and it's going to be an object. Inside the object, I'm gonna add a field and I'm gonna call it name. And this one is gonna be a string, okay? So this is the type that I'm using here. Now I can go back to my variable, alt ADP, and map it to my alt name type. Can also indicate what's the um, key attribute name. All right, so now I can go back to my UI, go to the table, and hook it up so it's based on my ADP. And then in the columns here, I can choose the name column as what I'm going to show here. The only thing that I still need to do is assign the variable. So after we fetch the data, I can go into the assign variable here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the result of this alt spelling, which is an array, and I'm going to put it into the data array over here. 
Okay, so this goes into the array. Now, because the names are different, here it says item and here it says name, I'm going to also map this into the name like that. All right, so now we have the assignment of the data uh, as part of our ADP here. All right, let's go back to our page and hit refresh. We'll type in a counter code and we get the alternative spellings for the US and Z will get the alternative spellings for New Zealand. 